I have a listing, now what? So those we're going to be covering the steps on how we're going to start marketing it or what we should get prepared for it. Um, like I mentioned, the session will be recorded. Um, we have the chat available as well. Um, so if you have any questions that you don't want to forget, you could go ahead and put them in the chat. I get the notification, so if I get a chance, I'll stop um, and answer it. If not, we have a Q&A at the bottom as well. I know you ladies are busy, um, so you have to step out or uh, pick up a call. Uh, the session is recorded, so you'll always be able to go back and have a little refresher on it. Um, so today's agenda, we're going to be going over the property marketing checklist um, and then kind of going through how to get prepared to promote yourself and the listing as a star. Next, we're going to create a pre-marketing buzz. So it's you have a listing, but we also want to get ahead of that curve and do start getting the pre-market stuff. Marketing material with listing concierge, we have a full service and a self serve. So you have those two options. And then also photography. Photography is one of the exciting parts of your listing. It is going to be what is showcased online. And that's going to be the first type of attention grabbing for a potential buyer or a potential seller. Um, and then next, we're going to go through some uh, pro tips and then go over your QA as well. So at the end of the the class along with my recap I will be attaching the property marketing checklist and it's going to be something that I recommend you um, always using at the beginning of your listings or right before you're getting your listing that way you have it all front and center you're not going to go and having to play a guessing game to see oh where am I going to start this nice list gives you a nice organized way to keep yourself on track and also have that conversation with your pre with your seller your potential seller even before the hand this could kind of give you a recap of what you could touch base with your seller what you're going to do with that marketing um and so another thing that we want to mention is you don't have a listing if you don't have a listing agreement signed um the office doesn't know you have a listing unless you submit your paperwork. So first off, the main important thing is to make sure you have everything submitted into your transaction manager or and your my deals. Um, some of you do have a TC or transaction coordinator. Um, so normally either they'll be able to get that paperwork going, or if it's your, um, if you're handling all your paperwork, you could go ahead and have that finalized. Um, always reach out to your office admin or your manager for assistance on getting those documents put together and submitted for yourself. The reason why it's against a law to promote a listing that has no approved listing agreement that is not marketed on MLS. So we want to make sure that you're saving yourself from any um, legality issues and always making sure that you're that professional expert in the, your community. Um, before you list it, you want to make sure you know your property. You need to know what are the best aspects. Talk to the seller and see what they're much, most proud of their property. Make sure that you have that conversation with your seller. That way they know that you have their interest at the top, but also that you're interested in the property and how you're going to be able to market it to that potential buyer and how you're going to be able to showcase it for them because their sellers are very proud of their property and sometimes they have a hard time letting go. But if they have an agent that wants to really connect with them even before the property sells, then you'll be able to connect and build that relationship with them. Oh. Verbiage, that's kind of one of the hardest things um, is coming up with a creative short verbiage that either you're going to post on your MLS and then on any marketing material. So this is why it's also good to have that conversation with the seller to know exactly how they feel, if they have any creative um, words or a stories that they had at that property. You want to maybe incorporate it into your verbiage and make it a lot easier for that. Um, remember, you're writing it for the public, not for realtors. Um, so you want to make sure to connect with that um, buyer and you want to make it make them feel warm and wanting to join that community and wanting to actually show, go and view the property for for themselves in person and not just with the pictures. Um, so that's always going to be very important. You need 
verbiage and pictures to be able to market something. Um, next, take a quick shot. So if you're at the property and you're walking around the property and wanting to know the layout, all most phones right now, most smartphones have a high def camera. So you're able to snap a quick picture even before you place um, your listing concierge order or you order your photography having one available for yourself will be able to kind of start that marketing wheel without having to wait for a um, photographer to come in it is also against the law to take any pictures from previous listings um, or from someone else without any written permission. So this is also a good idea to kind of grab yourself a picture um, just in case you need it as an emergency. You have something that you own and you're going to be able to market. Um, and also, um, this is also an extra step is considering buying a domain for that particular property. It'll make it a lot easier to search. Um, so example, they have 777heavenlydrive.com, um, but you could be as creative or if you already have your personal domain, you can also go ahead and make a subdomain and have something directed to your website and then have a sub page for that listing um, just to give yourself additional access points for that. Um, so one of the reasons why you grab that picture beforehand is we have exclusive look. Exclusive look is one of our programs that CB has that gives all CB agents an opportunity that after they have the, la the signed listing agreement and they've also signed the exclusive look agreement, they'll be able to showcase a property even before it hits the MLS, even before it goes public on either the do not show or the members only part, uh, because you have it is within a brokerage and you are part of the Cobalt Banker family, that family goes all the way to the East Coast, all the way, all the West Coast on there. So you're giving your client a step ahead on giving that property a showcase, an exclusive look. This will also help you test the market price. So you'll be able to see if maybe you get more responses from an agent depending on the price or someone's going to say, hey, the price is a little fancy or a little funky for that property. Then you'll be able to adjust it even before you go on the market. Um, and within Exclusive Look, it also gives out a newsletter that gets sent out to all of the agents within that area or within those searching histories. So we have potential buyers that agents have submitted in there. So let's say your listing does match that potential buyer's um, requirements, then you already have a ping even before the listing goes live and it's going to stay within the brokerage. So that's one of the awesome opportunities to take a picture and enter it into exclusive look. We also have the sneak peek that's available for 24 hours before the listing goes live. Um, you get to kind of do a little showcase and share it out to that. Um, you have your weekly office meetings. Um, I know they have that opportunity to share that upcoming listing. That's where you could start creating the buzz and letting your agents know, hey, keep an eye out. Oh, hey, do you have a client that matches these requirements? Listing's going to be coming up. Do you want to meet up before it actually hits the market? And that's because it is all within the brokerage. It is still a listing uh, exclusive look or exclusive property for the, the brokerage, and you're not getting um, in trouble for marketing it outside. Uh, so what are your different marketing options? You have the listing. It's signed. Now you're getting it ready to market. So we have listing concierge. That's our amazing program where it's full serve. So you'll have a listing coordinator assigned to your property package and you'll have all sorts of different um, postcards, online ads, um, printed ad. You will get a TV commercial depending on the slot you get. So all of that within one package and they all vary from 179 to 199. 1199 dollars um so there's there's four different packages or we have the listing concierge self-service which is completely free completely um it's self-serve so you could do semi-custom old stuff on there and edit it on there or you have your totally diy um it's everything that you have so whatever your specialized marketing that you've done previously 
you already had those plans set together. Um, or Moxie Impress. We also have Moxie Impress. That's one of the new programs within Moxie uh, Works. Um, and it's going to be one of those options where you could create e blasts, newsletters, postcards, or other material onto there. So that's going to be coming up. It's still out there, um, but we're so excited with Engage and the websites that we forget Impress. But go ahead and play around with that as well. So let's go over the listing concierge package um, packages. So there are four packages. We have the bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. The bronze is fully digital. You won't get any print material. We know some properties are flying off the shelf, so we don't even get to approve material before it goes um, active or before we get anything out there. So that's a bronze. That's um, You'll get a digital ad and you'll get a digital website and some of the flyers like there. All of the packages include photography. So I believe whatever package you get, the photography is already worth the price of it. So bronze, silver, gold, platinum, they all include professional photography, a minimum or a maximum of 36 pictures. So if you get the bronze, that's 179. That includes a boost ad and photography, all for when listing. Um, if, if I was listing, I, I'd use that one. Um, but all the packages are highly subsidized by Coal Banker. So that means Coal Banker is taking a majority of the price off there. So what company is gonna offer you 179 for professional pictures and additional adding on there um, and also other great features all within a listing coordinator that will be your one-on-one -on -one connection with the package. Um, so we also have the self service, so we'll be able to make sure in the same tile you'll be able to organize and watch um, and pick your packages on there. Um, so you'll be able to choose the day of your photography for your full service. So you'll be able to order your photography, schedule your date, tell them exactly what you want on there, and you'll start receiving emails. You'll start receiving emails from your coordinator, letting you know what needs to be approved, um, what needs to be uploaded, all within one. They'll email you, you'll have to go in, obviously respond to the emails or go in and check approve some of the stuff, but it's all within one suite or you could do the self-service and you upload your photography, you upload your verbiage and you start playing, customizing your flyers, customizing your website and all of those other features as well. Um, so those are both on Listing Concierge um, and they have the same similar templates. So, so you were not gonna be missing out on any um, low end marketing, it's just you're gonna be controlling every single aspect that you want on the self-service. Um, obviously with full service, you have the option and the control, but you have a coordinator assisting you along the way. So marketing, we need to do our property marketing. One of the great things now, we have social media. Social media is free. So that's one of the best places to start marketing is by starting building up that excitement, um, showcasing it on our Facebook, on our Instagram, on our LinkedIn, um, YouTube page, if you have that. Um, Moxie in Works, your new website, has the option to now share it to your Facebook, um, Twitter and paint and Pinterest. You can't share it, share it to Instagram because Instagram, you can't upload a link. So any site that has um, a link sharing capability, you'll be able to share. So everything will have your contact information. So everyone's going to be your point of contact. Everyone's going to be going to you. Um, and that is by just taking advantage of your free options in your Moxie Works um, and in Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Um, so we want to make sure we have those things. Uh, some of the listing self-serve, listing concierge self-serve services are you'll get a flyer. So you'll be able to get those for your open houses, for any showings. You'll get a property website. A single property website will have your pictures that you upload, your verbiage, and a little bit of the map information. A slideshow so we'll make a slideshow out of your pictures that you upload so the more pictures you have um, it'll make a nice um, flowing 
video for if you want to upload to your Facebook or, or um, to your website, things like that. You get an e-flyer as well. So that is a digital marketing that you could blast it out to all of your offices, letting you know you have a new listing. Um, and then your social media graphics. So within Listing Concierge, you could get these semi-customized templates. Oh, I clicked. So you'll be able to get these semi-customized templates, upload your picture, edit the verbiage. Um, but the, the templates are pretty set, so you could just plug and play some of the items onto there. Photography options. They usually make or break your listing nowadays because everyone's online. Everyone's on Google, on Zillow, Realtor.com, all sorts of sites. So we want to make sure that you're making the best first impression. So the moment you make it live on MLS, those pictures that whatever pictures you upload on MLS get syndicated over to all of the websites, all the Cobalt Banker websites, all of the other public web websites. So we want to make sure that the first set of pictures that get syndicated are your professional pictures. I know sometimes we think that our property is going to sell pretty fast. Um, but so we just grab a quick picture, not that good. We're just driving by, grab a picture, put it up. It's not showing that great impression, um, especially if you're just pushing it out because you want it to go active immediately. It does take a while for it. If you do upload new pictures, it will take a while for the new pictures to be pushed and get syndica syndicated on the website again. So usually we want to make sure your first impression is the best. And we do have photography options that are associated to the listing concierge. Depending on where you're at, you have F8 as a photography option, Aerial Canvas, Virtual Tour Cafe, and then up in Sacramento, Tahoe, we have the Pineapple Labs, Virtuins, and VHT Studios. We have different options. You could do either an a la carte and have all of your different requirements on there, or you could just go with the static 36 pictures. Um, so one of the tips that we always like to encourage is for the agent to be at the property. Photographer doesn't know those key items that your seller wants to showcase or what you want to showcase. A photographer isn't going to have an idea and the photographers don't move anything. They don't organize, they don't clean, they don't put toilet seats down. So the best is for you to be there and be there to see exactly what might need to be placed, what might need to be moved, um, and also where, what pictures you want to get, what corner, what angle. Clearing spaces, like I mentioned, they don't clear the spaces. So if you have, if you see a hose running across, the photographer is going to grab the hose. Either you're going to have to physically move it or try to get it edited out after the pictures are done. So the if you're there and you see a pillow out of order or we see a blind kind of shaken, that's your opportunity to go in and kind of organize it. So we want to make sure we keep that pristine image throughout the property. Um, it's because you're going to get what you want. So if you don't, if you're not putting input, you're going to get that. Um, so we do have different options on part of the listing concierge package or um, within your own personal photographer. Does your property look amazing in twilight? Well, why not showcase that? A lot of people visit properties during the day. They visit the properties during the day. They don't get that ambiance at night. So it's good to also give them a little sneak peek of a twilight picture so they could see what their property will look like in the future. Um, aerial photography. So let's say you have a big property and it's acreage or it just has an amazing layout. Aerial photography is going to be one of your great options and you can even also, let's say you have the landscape, you have the ocean right there, you have a nice mountain that's going to also showcase and make that jealousy of that potential buyer and wanting to live there. So aerial photography could also be an option. Um, let's say it's a little difficult to get to that property. We also have 360 tours. That's kind of like the little dollhouse effect where you could hit different points and see the view at those different points as well. So that's one of those good options that were very, very valuable during COVID. While everyone was quarantined, 
they couldn't do an open house. They couldn't do a virtual. They couldn't do property tours. So 360s have really um, helped elevate that um, accessibility to people across the country that want to move to your area. That's going to be one of those great resources um, to be able to give them the opportunity to visit the property um, ahead of time. Um, so this is a Matterport 3D. So this is another way where you'll be able to see the dollhouse effect, look at it different sections, move it around, and see exactly um, how the property looks in its completeness. Um, virtual staging. Sometimes buyers have a hard time visualizing the property if it's empty. Um, so one of the great things about it, we have the photographers have a virtual staging option. Now they'll be able to fill in with whatever type of decorations that you want, depending if it's modern, um, contemporary, they'll be able to decorate the property how you want in a digi digital world. Um, sample print materials. We always have nice packages available for you to have in your pre-listing presentations. This is all part of your listing concierge order. So it, depending on what package you place is what will be um, available. You also are able to purchase these pieces um, through Express Docs individually. So you don't have to use a package. You don't have to go through that route. And if you only want one sort of stuff, um, then you'll be able to do that as well. The only one that isn't available in Express Docs is the trifold, the mailer with the nice silver envelope that does have to part, be part of the listing concierge package. So that are those are all details on what our checklist has. So want to make sure we have our Paperwork. We have. We want to make sure everything is signed and submitted. Um, now we're going to want to see which options do you want to pay. Do we want to invest a little bit of money on the property, or is this going to be part? Of, this is a huge property. How much are we going to invest? Seeing our different package options or your third-party marketing options. So your own photographer, if you have your favorite photographer, or if you have someone that does your marketing for you, get that going before before the listing date comes in or the activation date comes in. Um, so you'll have the instructions on how to put it on ex exclusive look, announcing your listing. So you'll have a little checklist for yourself. If you have a TC or an assistant, they'll be able to do that for you or you'll be able to have that saved because you're gonna have three listings at the same time. This will help you organize that as well. And always go look back and see, huh, what have I done for this listing? What can I do? What can I change? You'll be able to keep track of that as well. Um, some other tips. Um, you could actually add your seller's email on HomeSpotter Boost. So that is one of our digital ads that will actually follow that person online. So let's say they're registered to Google or they're registered with Facebook. They will kind of stock their email and they'll be able to find their own email, um, their own property ad online. Another thing is if let's say you have a potential seller, I mean a potential buyer that has been looking um, and they like that property but they haven't put in an offer, you could also add their email to kind of start geotagging them and making kind of, hey, I really like that property. That property is all over the place. Let me go reach out to Trina and have her show me that listing. Um, so that's going to be one other place you could always stay top of mind. We have the market reports that you could set up your seller so they know exactly what's happening in their market, what's going active, what's selling, um, and then anything on a weekly basis, monthly basis as well. Um, YouTube, if you do a listing concierge package, um, you do get a link for your commercial for your TV slot, so you'll be able to upload it to your own YouTube page, add it as part of your just sold email, and then also keep it in mind, everything that you use for your new listing, you could always have the same idea for your next listing. So if you have that video, you could do that and upload it to your Moxie presentation and be part of your pre-listing presentation for your next listing and say, hey, this is what I did for their property. This is what I'm going to do for your new property, for your next property. Um, so that's going to be some tips that you can do. Always reuse what you've already invested in. Um, you already paid it. <laughs> we want to make sure that you're taking as much advantage 
advantage of everything as much as possible. So let's see if I have any questions in the chat or if I scared you away. I, I do have a question. I just wanted to know, I took down the exclusive look and domain name for the property that you mentioned yes. in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Are those two components part of um, the listing concierge package? The listing concierge package um, is mostly when it goes active. Exclusive look is a completely, it's a full tile on desk. So let me pull it up here. Okay. So if we go on here, okay, we have, let me see if I have it. So if it's not on your main homepage, you could always go up here and type exclusive and it'll pop up an exclusive look. And this is um, a different tile where you'll go in before the listing goes uh, okay. live on MLS. Oh. So this is something that the agent has to do manually. Yes. Yes. Because, and then also because you'll you'll have to put in when the listing is going to go active and put in little requirements on there. It also gives you an option to upload pictures. Um, so right now there's only one in my area that has that's part of the exclusive look. Um, but then you could add a listing in here and put it on as part of um, the sections. I believe now, I'm not that familiar with the listing process of, at the moment, but I believe if you put it on my deals, it, there is a little button or a check mark where you could actually put exclusive look on there. I think they're making it as a, um, easiest okay. as possible but because i don't go into my deals i can't double check i don't have okay. access to those points um but okay. you can check with your office manager or your ssa and they'll be able to double check on the my deal section of the part or else you could just manually add it to exclusive look as well okay yeah that's something i can definitely look into myself and then the domain name for the property and the domain part of the, i thought that was part of listing concierge for some reason. So within listing concierge, if you purchase a package, um, you do get a single property website, um, but it does come with a really generic domain name. Oh. Um, that's if you have, per, if you so it does have a domain, so you could use that okay. that URL and put it posted all over. That's if you want to kind of come in and pay for an additional one, then. That's what you yeah. can do. So this, so the domain name you were suggesting and you had an example, it's basically a more um, kind of an exclusive to the proper, it's more tailored to that specific property. Yes. Correct? Okay. Correct. Yes. Um, but you all, all the single property websites will have a URL. So it, um, not a lot of people customize that URL just because you're, you're, you're listing a lot. Um, so you're not going to want to have so many domains around. But let's say wow. you have the capability of switching the verbiage on your um, subdomain, then that could be an option. Um, but okay. you can meet with your FMS and see if if your domain um, account has that capability or okay. um, have that in the, the future. Adjustments, like okay, yeah. okay, um, okay. Those are yeah, those are really great questions. Thank you for mm -hmm. asking because it's it's something that we don't think about. It's like we're list we're worried about the listing and the contract and getting the offers, and the marketing gets a little bit intimidating or a little bit too much. So that way, the Excel sheet will help out with that. Um, at, not the Excel sheet. It's it's going to be a Word document, and that should help you out with that as well. Um, and also after you could actually print out the Excel sheet, the Word document and make an appointment with your either your FMS, your SSA before your listing and have a little recap and say, OK, here's my game plan. Can you help me out with this? Um, and I'll, they'll be able to guide you as well with that um, interaction with that listing because um, you're not you're not alone. We, you have the team behind you um, and we're happy to help you out any way we can okay no no worries thank you for answering that perfectly of course anyone else does anyone have any questions because i know 
don't see anything. That's perfect. Either I, you guys are all ready for your next listing or I confused you a little bit, but I had the recording. If you missed some of it, not a problem. I'll be able to send out the recap and you'll be able to watch it. I have all my classes on YouTube. So if you want to go in and check any other of those classes, they'll be there available for you as well. You're welcome, Maribella. Uh, thank you for joining my class. Thank you as well, Michael. It was nice thank having you. you. Of course. So where can I find you on YouTube? I will out my YouTube name is I think is Monterey Monterey Cobo Banker. I mean, if not, I'll send it's going to be part of my recap. Um, OK, because so I'm gonna, having a listing appointment this evening, so I'm kind of oh, panicking. I'll, I'll send it right now and I'll go <laughs> shift it over to you. I'll actually I'll email you the I'll attach the the checklist for you as well right now. OK, perfect. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. I'll stop the recording.